Jamlani weaving is one of the most time-consuming and labor-intensive forms of fabric production by hand on a traditional loom. The product from this style of weaving is called the Jamdani, a highly designed fabric that originated from the Dhakai muslin, the most transparent and delicate cotton cloth ever woven by human hand. The Dhakai muslin derives its name from Dhaka. During the reign of the Mughal Emperor Jahangir from 1605 to 1627, the plain muslin was decorated with a wide range of floral designs. Emperor Jahangir is seen wearing a Jamdari sash around the waist. This flowered muslin came to be known as the Jamdani. The original seat of Jamdani weaving was Shonarga. Even though the fabulous Dhakai muslin became extinct, the Jamdani survived. The main reason for its survival was the increasing use of this fabric as a sari by all classes of Bengali women. The sari is the common dress for women in Bangladesh. In the early 20th century, the seat of Jamdani weaving began shifting substantially from Shonarga to Rupshi, which lies five miles southwest. Rupshi, across a sprawling countryside, is now a region in Narayanganj district. Jamdani weaving flourished in two sections, Kazipara and Noapara of Rupshi. Today, Jamdani weaving is found at Rupshi, Shonarga and Shiddirganj. Here in Kazipara of Rupshi, Inamul Haq, Shobujmia, own a shop with five looms. Inamul Haq, who has risen to mastery in Jamdani weaving since 2000, has now become a great weaver. Prior to actual weaving on the loom, there is a complex and tedious process of preparation involving nine groups of craftspeople in addition to the weavers who make the largest group. All the ten groups constitute a cohesive community cherishing their skills and knowledge which are being handed down from generation to generation. We are again back to the shop of Inamul Haq and Shobujmiya. In weaving a Jamdani, two weavers sit at a loom. This is how they weave a Jamdani Shari. Once a Jamdani Shari is done, a weaver coats it with starch made of parched rice. He cuts the Shari from the end to separate it from the loom. Here is the finished product. The Bangladesh Small and Cottage Industries Corporation, BISIC, has established this township in Nuapara. Here, 420 families live. 
Each family has 10 to 20 looms under the roof of its dwelling. All family members are involved in jamdani weaving. Boys and girls learn jamdani weaving from their parents at their leisure. The distinguishing hallmark of the jamdani is that its designs are neither embroidered nor printed but created directly on the loom in the process of weaving. The weavers need not use any drawing. They weave designs smoothly out of the patterns stored in their minds. There are numerous designs which they have imitated from nature, from trees, creepers, foliage, flowers, fruits and vegetables. Any design that the weavers want to replicate fuses readily into the fabric as their hands move gracefully upon the loom. They concentrate on the task of the moment, blending the knowledge of the past with their hopes for the future. Amina Begum says, I learned weaving from my husband. I feel proud of being a weaver. Our job is strenuous, yet I enjoy working at the loom. When we finish weaving a beautiful Jamdani sari, I become extremely happy because it will adorn a woman who may be a bride or a fashion-loving lady. Yes, we give our strong consent for our exposure to people around the world. Most of the jamdanis woven weekly until Thursday go to market at Damra on Friday. Both retailers and wholesalers throng there to buy jamdanis directly from the weavers who abstain from working on Friday. We are now at Chonarga, the original seat of jamdani weaving. The Bangladesh Folk Arts and Crafts Foundation has established here an emporium of Jamdani saris. Jamdani weaving is one of the most cherished elements of the intangible cultural heritage of Bangladesh. In the past, the world had the incredible experience of using Takai muslin, the finest cotton cloth ever known to humanity. The Jamdani is the surviving representation of that fabulous cotton cloth. Its exquisiteness and splendor lie in its woven designs of an infinite variety. Moreover, it is a technical marvel of handicraft with creativity and ingenuity.